What if we could detect the faint signals emanating from the farthest reaches of the universe, revealing secrets from distant galaxies and the enigmatic pulses of neutron stars? The 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope, FAST, the largest radio telescope on Earth, brings this possibility to life. With a colossal 500-meter wide dish made up of 4,450 panels and a sensitivity three times greater than its predecessor, Nestled within a natural karst depression in China, this $180 million project covers the area of 30 football fields and can observe frequencies ranging from 70 MHz to 3 GHz. But with this giant leap forward, could this massive telescope uncover new pulsars, hidden galaxies, and perhaps even clues about the fundamental nature of dark matter? In the early 1930s, astronomy experienced a monumental breakthrough with the construction of the first radio telescope. Carl Jansky's revolutionary detection of radio waves from the Milky Way unveiled a new way of exploring the cosmos, forever altering our approach to understanding the universe. This discovery marked the dawn of radio astronomy, a science that revolutionized how we observe the cosmos. By detecting and analyzing radio waves from space, astronomers could see beyond the visible spectrum, unraveling mysteries hidden from traditional optical telescopes. As radio astronomy progressed, so did the development of radio telescopes. In 1963, a monumental leap occurred with the construction of the Arecibo Observatory, boasting a massive 305-meter dish. Arecibo became a powerful tool for scientists, detecting radio signals from far-off galaxies, and even contributing to the discover of pulsars and mapping the surface of Venus. Its enormous dish, set in a natural sinkhole, allowed it to detect faint signals from the farthest reaches of space. Despite its groundbreaking contributions, Arecibo eventually faced limitations due to aging technology. The need for a more advanced radio telescope grew as scientists sought to push the boundaries of space exploration further. This desire led to the conceptualization of FAST, the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Telescope in the 1990s. FAST, completed in 2016, was designed to surpass Arecibo's capabilities with a massive 500-meter dish that could detect even fainter signals and uncover more astronomical secrets. FAST became the world's largest filled aperture radio telescope, significantly enhancing the ability to detect pulsars, fast radio bursts, and other cosmic phenomena. Its construction heralded a new age of discoveries, offering the scientific community a superior tool to continue exploring the unknown. But what unique capabilities does FAST possess that distinguish it from its predecessors? And how might these innovations transform our understanding of the universe? In just a minute, we'll reveal how FAST's dynamic surface allows it to reshape and track the sky with pinpoint accuracy, something that no other radio telescope can do. But first, how would you like to watch our videos ad-free for just $2 a month? Or get access to exclusive content for $10 a month? For $17, you can pitch topics and get your name in the credits. Join our premium community at www.patreon.com slash the impossible build. And if you're just here for something free, grab our U.S. military billion dollar blunders video at the impossible slash billion dollar blunders. Both links are in the description below. The construction of FAST began in 2011, following years of planning and site surveys. Engineers selected a natural sinkhole in Guizhou province, known for its deep karst landscape, as the ideal location. The bowl-shaped depression provided the necessary topography to support the massive structure without extensive excavation, a critical factor in keeping costs down and utilizing the natural landscape to cradle the telescope's dish. 
However, even with the natural advantage of the site, the construction was far from simple. The area required significant preparation, including the removal of nearly 1 million cubic meters of earth to reshape the basin to the precise specifications needed for the reflector. The heart of FAST's design lies in its enormous dish, which spans 500 meters in diameter. This dish is made up of 4,450 triangular aluminum panels, each measuring 11 meters on a side. These panels are suspended by a flexible steel cable mesh, which forms the backbone of the telescope's reflecting surface. Unlike traditional radio telescopes with fixed parabolic shapes, FAST's panels are movable, allowing the surface to change its curvature dynamically. This active surface enables the telescope to point at different regions of the sky with high precision, an innovative solution that sets FAST apart from its predecessors. To achieve this, the panels are controlled by a series of 2,225 hydraulic actuators located beneath the dish. These actuators are responsible for adjusting the shape of the cable mesh, deforming it from a spherical to a parabolic shape in real time. This is crucial for focusing incoming radio waves onto the feed antenna, which is suspended 140 meters above the dish in a lightweight cabin. The ability to actively reshape the dish allows FAST to track astronomical objects as the Earth rotates, vastly increasing the telescope's observational capabilities compared to previous designs. The feed cabin, a key element of the telescope, is another marvel of engineering. Suspended by six steel cables connected to towering support structures, the cabin can be moved across the surface of the dish with incredible precision. This movement is controlled by a sophisticated winch system that adjusts the tension in the cables, allowing the feed antenna to position itself at the exact focal point of the reflecting surface. To fine-tune its position, the cabin is equipped with a steward platform, a mechanism that provides six degrees of freedom for adjusting the feed antenna's orientation and position. This ensures that the antenna can compensate for disturbances, such as wind or minor shifts in the telescope's structure, maintaining the required accuracy for observing distant celestial objects. FAST's design incorporates several groundbreaking features aimed at optimizing its sensitivity and minimizing interference. The telescope operates within a frequency of 70 MHz to 3 GHz, offering a broad spectrum of radio signals from pulsars, hydrogen lines, and other cosmic phenomena. The precision of the dish's surface and the flexibility of the feed cabin's movements allow FAST to detect weak radio signals from across the universe with remarkable clarity. One of the striking aspects of FAST's construction is the use of a geodesic dome-like structure to support the reflector panels. The triangular panels are carefully arranged to form a continuous surface, with the intersections of the triangles serving as control points for the actuators. This design minimizes the stress on individual panels and ensures even distribution of forces across the entire dish, which is critical for maintaining the integrity of the structure as it shifts during observations. The control system for FAST is equally sophisticated. To manage the movement of the panels in the feed cabin, a network of sensors and feedback loops constantly monitors the position of each component. Laser rangefinders and GPS sensors track the location of the feed cabin with millimeter level accuracy, while force sensors on the cables ensure that the cabin remains stable as it moves across the sky. These systems work together in a closed loop control system that automatically adjusts the position of the feed cabin and the shape of the reflector, allowing FAST to perform seamless observations. The sheer size and complexity of FAST posed numerous technical challenges during construction. One of the most significant hurdles was ensuring the accuracy of the reflecting surface. Even small deviations in the shape of the dish could affect the telescope's ability to focus radio waves, reducing its sensitivity. To overcome this, engineers developed a detailed topographical model of the site and used computational simulations to fine-tune the positions of the actuators and the shape of the cable mesh. 
This ensured that the reflector could be reshaped to the desired parabolic curve with minimal error. Another challenge was the remote location of the site. The karst region, while ideal for reducing radio interference, presented logistical difficulties for transporting materials and equipment. The surrounding mountains made road access difficult, and the area had little existing infrastructure to support such a massive project. Despite these obstacles, the construction proceeded on schedule, with the final panel of the reflector being installed in July 2016. The challenges did not end with the construction of the telescope. Once the structure was completed, the team faced the task of testing and calibrating the system to ensure it met its design specifications. This process took three years of fine-tuning the actuators, adjusting the control systems, and conducting trial observations. In 2020, FAST was finally declared fully operational, marking the beginning of a new era in radio astronomy. FAST's innovative design and the technical challenges it overcame have set a new standard for radio telescopes. Its enormous size and advanced control systems allow it to observe the universe with unparalleled sensitivity, opening up new possibilities for discovery. As scientists continue to push the boundaries of what FAST can do, the world watches in anticipation of the groundbreaking revelations it will uncover. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated.